Hello, my name is Jason Dragon, and I've been in the computer industry for almost 20 years. And about a year and a half ago, I got into building Ethereum mining machines. And it's been a large part of my business lately. But um, there's going to be a lot of things changing here in the next few months when it comes to mining. And I just want to make this little video to let people know about what's coming. And I'm doing it from hindsight of what's happened in the past, you know, every year and a half, two years, and how it all works. Um, just give you a quick little overview of what we do real quick. We build mining machines. Here's um, an, a giant stack of 1070s we recently got uh, for clients. We're using some nice power supplies over here. Here's a really cool stack of motherboards. <laughs> anyway. This is um, actually our preferred motherboard now. It's a pretty good motherboard for building a six card mining rig. And you could build a six card mining rig really, really well um, using this 1070 card and using a nice thousand watt power supply from EVGA. This power supply is more than enough and you could build one power supply in a rig. And that's the way we like to do it. Anyway, less on that and more onto what we're here to talk about. So what is the new big thing? What's the new big news that's going to shake up the mining industry? Well, it's the new NVIDIA chip. Um, they haven't really come up with a name yet. Most people are saying it's probably going to be like 1170, 1160, 1180. Um, you know, the last one, we're on... Currently, we're on the 10 series. Before that was 9. Before that was 8. Before that was 7. So, logically, it would be 11 would be next. There are rumors that they're going to skip 11 altogether and go all the way to 20. I don't know why, but there's a lot of rumors saying that 20 is the next series. So, if that's true, it'll be 2050, 2060, 2070, 2080. I don't know which one they're going to do. I, I believe, from what I'm reading mostly... Most people are in the 11 camp. So anyway, that being said, so if you're a big, big, giant company building a product, what's the best way to make sure you maximize your profits? Let's think about it from their perspective. Well, the best way is, first off, you don't want to have your old profits, your old product um, languish and be drowned out and not, you know, not sell. But you also don't want to have shortages of your new product when it first gets released. So that becomes a problem for somebody like NVIDIA, where it's going to take them three months to build a substantial amount of the new product. But, you know, they want to keep selling the old product. So what do they do? They create a lot of secrecy and they make sure everybody's really quiet about it. It happened when the 900 series went to the 10 series. It happened when the 800 series went to the 900 series. And they're even being more secretive about it right now. <clears throat> There's rumors here and rumors there about factories already switching over to the to the, whatever the next generation is. We're just going to call it the 11 series from now on for the rest of this video. So there's rumors saying that these factories have already switched over to the 11 series as much as a month ago. Um, so I don't know what the exact timeline is, but I can tell you what the ramifications are going to be because it's the same every time. And if you're kind of new to the computer industry, you probably haven't seen it with NVIDIA before, but we did see it with AMD, and they had really bad timing because it happened right around the same time where Ethereum really took off um, when they switched over from their 480 series to their 500 series. And all of a sudden, you know, people like me are selling computers with the 400 series in them, and all of a sudden, I can't buy any. They're all gone. And there's no word from anybody, nothing. Everybody's just like, I don't know. It's just, they're all gone. And then all of a sudden, the market's flooded with the 500 series. Luckily, it happened when in, when Ethereum was still like $60, $70. I was able to buy hundreds and hundreds of those 580 cards when they first came out and was able to make a very good return on them. Um, back then, people didn't really mind so much with NVIDIA because the software wasn't really there for NVIDIA. NVIDIA mined a lot slower. 
Only when the new Claymore and some of the newer versions of the softwares came out did and some new drivers came out did mining on NVIDIA um, GPUs become more profitable. Of course, people went crazy with it all. So, what are we talking about right here? The Volta is the name, the code name for the new chip. They've it's been in servers since around April. Um, Three thousand dollar video cards. Nobody's gonna mine on that, though. Supposedly they mine really, really awesome. Then they came out with the Titan V, which was the first consumer one. Also very expensive. Also three thousand dollars. Came out here in early December. So let me show you the quick little timeline. Um, so what is the timeline? So originally in April, Nvidia announced that their target was September and October of 2007. Well, what, 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 we're at the end of end of the year now. It's December 28th, 2017. So why would they not have it out yet? Well, in September, you know they're making tons of money selling to us miners. And they can't even keep up with that, much less roll out a new a new chip. And they know, they know the disturbance that a new product line has, and they were making too much money to do that disturbance to the entire industry and to their market share. So what really happened when, when um, so they pushed it back. You know, people are saying right now it's going to be probably early February, maybe late January, where we're going to see these new chips and these new cards. So, miners are the reason we have this delay. So what's this card all about? Why are we interested? Well, every time NVIDIA releases a new card, the GPU itself, their target is to get about a 30 to 35, maybe a 40% increase. They don't really want a larger increase than 40% because then they have to outdo themselves again the next next iteration down the line, a year and a half, two years down the line. So a 35% increase is actually their target. And if they have a bigger increase than that, there's rumors saying that they actually lock down the chips and that's why you can do BIOS modding and unlock these chips and get that higher boost because that's not supposed to be there. So 33% gain in the GPU. But if you've ever done any mining, which hopefully you're doing that, let me um, run Afterburner right here. So this is my Afterburner software. And uh, as you can tell, I'm running an AMD card on here. But um, I'm actually not even overclocking this at the moment. I don't know why it's not overclocking. But when you overclock, ah, it's because I'm, doing too much video editing, this video process really hits into the mining. So, when you overclock a video card, the memory clock is all that really matters. Um, there's a little bit of, you only get a very small performance increase when you overclock the core clock, um, but you don't get any memory clock, I mean any substantial increase unless you upgrade your memory clock. So that's where the real increase comes from. And what's interesting about these new Volta process, these Volta video cards, is that they've decided and they made it compatible with DDR6, which is, as you know, we all use DDR5 in every single existing uh, video card right now. Well, or something worse. So DDR6 is going to be a game changer. What is DDR6? Well, from the specs I've been reading, DDR6 is not only about 80% faster, it's also going to use 30 to 40% less electricity. And this GPU is already going to use 30 to 40% less electricity. So what does that mean for your entire operation? It means when these cards come out, you're going to see not just the 30% increase in mega hash, you're probably, because the RAM is so much faster, you're probably going to be seeing a 50 to 70% increase in mega hash. Now, of course, any increase in mega hash has to be offset with an increase in price. I do believe at the beginning these video cards are probably going to be 40 to 50% more expensive, 
than what the um, the 1070s are supposed to be. Unfortunately, we're in this really bizarre market where 1070s are selling $100 above MSRP, um, 1060s are selling $80 above MSRP, and even at that price, people are buying them up as fast as they can. Um, I actually called Newegg earlier today. If you look at their website right here, you know, the cheapest 6 gig 1060 card is 270 bucks. This is an MSRP of like 210. Maybe not even that because it's a really crappy cooler. Um, you know, and you quickly, we only have two cards in that range, and we're quickly already at the $295 range. Um, this particular video card, the PNY card, by the way, is really good. I um, actually got 50 of them the other day, and we're building those right now. They, that's actually a really good card. Um, I've never used any of the single fan cards. I don't really like them. I, I think they need more cooling when you're mining 24-7 than a single fan, so I don't use those. But this price is ridiculous. I, I'm not going to buy at this price. you know. But why is this price this ridiculous? Well, I called Newegg today. This particular PNY, they had like 15 of them left. They're probably going to be sold out by the time you look at this video. Um, you know, all these cards are gone. Well, what does that mean? I mean, why are these cards gone? Well, my belief is these are the last. These are the last 1060 cards. And that's the big news. These cards are most likely it. The factories have already moved on to the 11 series. They've already moved on to the next generation, and these are the last cards we're going to see. But wait, we're not going to get the next generation until probably February, maybe even mid or late February. So that means what? It means the next two months, you're not going to be able to buy an NVIDIA video card at a decent price and mine on it. You're gonna, yeah, sure, you can go to Amazon and buy it from some scalper who's gonna take this video card that's a piece of crap and sell it for $450. That's what happened back in July. People were taking stuff that they could buy for $250 that they bought in bulk, they sat on it for a month, and then they put it up on Amazon for $600. I find that very unethical. I don't do that. I, you know, if the price goes up $20, I'll raise the price $20 on my customer, but I'm not gonna raise it $200. That's just unethical. I find that highly, not highly bad. Anyway, but honestly, I think you're seeing the end of the 10 series. Amazon is going to be sold out very soon. Yeah, um, New Egg is going to be sold out very soon. These are places where consumers, and honestly, mostly, are, mostly the people who are building mining rigs are consumers. Um, I see all these stories of people trying to build mining rigs that have never even built a computer. Why would you try to build a six-card mining rig when you've never built a computer? At least start with maybe a one-card mining rig, or at least add a video card to an existing computer so you can understand the software and the mentality of that. That's a side rant. Sorry about that. Um, but still, don't just jump in, build a six-card rig. But this is where the consumers buy. Uh, I don't get my cards from here, honestly. I get them other places, and I can get them a little bit cheaper, and I can get them in large matching quantity, as we can see. Um, for, unfortunately, for most people, those are companies where, you know, you have to have a business license, a computer store, and you really have to be buying $50,000 on your first order, or at least plan to in the first few orders, or they don't even want to talk to you. You know, but when I called them up and I placed a $70,000 order to help my customers out, well, that's when they give me the good deals. Anyway, so what's going to happen now? I believe we're going to be able to have a big shortage in this market. In the next week, you're not going to be able to buy an NVIDIA card as a consumer. You're not, unless you're being gouged. And then it's going to be dry. There's going to be three, four, six weeks where you can't buy anything. And then the new card's going to come out. And just like the 580, when the 580 um, came out, all the in people, the people who have the connections, the people who um, wheel and deal, and the people who spend a million dollars on their farm, and, you know, those are the people who are going to get the deal. Um 
You know, I won't mention the name, but there's a major cloud mining company, which you've all probably heard of, and they made an exclusive deal with AMD and Sapphire, and they had so many video cards, and they were in such a hurry to get the video cards, they had the rent two cargo 747s completely full of video cards and fly them to their farm. We're talking millions and millions of dollars. And the same thing is going to happen with the 11 series. Where those are going to go, people like Dell, you know, people like HP, they're going to buy up huge amounts and they're going to put them in top notch gaming rigs. And if you want to be, so those gamers, the only way these gamers are going to be able to get these cards to the beginning is by buying a complete computer system from Dell and HP. That's the same trick that happens every single time. You're going to see that right away. Probably early February is my guess. And then you're going to see after that, you're going to see the difficulty of Ethereum probably go up a little bit. Hopefully the price goes up at least as much. You're going to see these big places like Genesis and um, other giant miners buying up large quantities of these cards. But what you're not going to see, you're not going to see these cards on Newegg. You're not going to see them at a decent price on Amazon, being sold by Amazon, fulfilled by Amazon. You might see it by some weird seller that all of a sudden has, has them, but he's selling them for double the MSRP. You're probably going to see that. Um, you're not going to see these cards for at least a month, maybe two months. So from New Year's until mid late March, forget about NVIDIA. You're not going to be able to buy them. Then what's going to happen is finally it's going to hit a saturation point. All these people who wanted these cards, all these, these factories are churning them out right now. And my belief is every single factory that makes NVIDIA cards has been churning them out for three weeks to a month already. And they're churning them out, waiting for the release date. Hopefully they'll have six, seven million of these cards, maybe 10 million of these cards worldwide available and they're all going to hit on day one but they're as i said a minute ago lengthily they're all going to be gobbled up you're not going to see them they're not going to be available on some resale site at a decent price they're not going to be there and then what's going to happen is finally maybe early april all of a sudden Everybody who wanted them, all the insiders, they finally got their saturation. And all of a sudden, boom, you're going to see them on Newegg. You know, honestly, I have a, a personal sales rep at Newegg. And when they get new inventory, what before it even goes on their website, he calls me up on the phone. He emails me and says, hey, we just got a shipment of these cards in. You know, he does it for me on motherboards, too. You know, hey, we just got a shipment of these cards in. Um, how many would you like? And I tell them, hey, I'd like to buy um, ADM. Sometimes I do that with Newegg. Uh, most of the time I buy from other places other than Newegg. Uh, but that's how it works. Like right now, there's my favorite motherboard is out of stock. And that motherboard, according to Newegg, will be arriving in their factory. I mean, arriving in their warehouse on Tuesday. And when it gets there on Tuesday, my name's already on 50 of them. You know, 50 of them are already eaten up by me. So... I don't want to beat a dead horse, but we're going to get to the point where you as an individual will probably not be able to buy an NVIDIA card for a good three to four month period. Just expect that. But when you finally can buy an NVIDIA card and all the prices have kind of settled down, you're going to be seeing a much greater mega hash for your investment. By the time the prices finally settle down, you're going to probably see their new 1170 for probably only 15 20 dollars more than the current 1070s are going for and it's going to mine 50 percent more so what does that mean for, what should you do as a miner well right now you should place as many orders and as buy as many cards as you can um i hate to say that i hate to kill my sources um because i need these cards too i mean i literally have about 50, 60 cards that I need to buy to fill the orders that people have already paid me for. 
fortunately, I have an order in with a company, and they're sending me 120 cards, hopefully tomorrow. So I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. But I personally don't like the AMD cards. I have, a, you know, half of my cards that I'm writing personally are AMD. But the AMD ones, they need BIOS mods. They don't overclock as well unless you do a BIOS mod. But the BIOS mod destroys the warranty. And for me, the warranty is important. Because I resell these items, and my customers expect a warranty. And if the factory is not going to give them warranty, then that means I have to give them warranty. So I'm not going to overclock these, and I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to BIOS mod these things unless somebody really, really wants it to be that. So anyway, that's our, my conclusion. By now, you're not going to, you're going to see a big shortage. It's going to rock the whole mining world. Um, what that does mean is the difficulty. A lot of people are going to be switching over to NVIDIA. And as I said in previous videos, the difficulty usually matches the price of Ethereum. So as the difficulty goes up, the price usually goes up too, or as the price goes up, it makes the difficulty go up. But when we're in a shortage, you won't see that happen. You're going to see the price of Ethereum go up. I think by February, we'll see a $1,000 Ethereum. But I don't believe you're going to see the difficulty go up much more because people simply can't get their hands on the video cards. And then once they can, the difficulty will go up and, and it'll slingshot just like it did earlier this year. Um, earlier this year, in May and June, the price went way up and the difficulty took three months to catch up. And when it caught up, people way over-ordered. People bought way too many machines. And when that happened, it caused the difficulty to skyrocket while the price actually went down a little bit. So the amount of money you made per mega hash actually decreased by a lot. And people were getting very depressed about it. People who spent $25,000 on mining machines and living in high expensive electricity areas are looking at their numbers going, well, I'm only making 500 bucks after I pay the electric bill. I'm never going to pay this back. And my advice to them, which is my advice now, is we'll take those mining proceeds and just stock them. And boom, you know, Ethereum went from 200 to 700. And what are they doing now? Well, they made a lot of money if they stocked them. If they, you know, the number one thing you never want to do is you never want to panic sale. You never want to chase, chase it down. You never want to sell when it's down. So don't sell. Let's just hold. And that's what I'm doing. If you're interested in a mining rig, Emerald Computers, which is us, we build turnkey mining rigs. This uh, spreadsheet's actually on our website, too. Wow, well, i got to make this a little bit smaller for you all here. Okay, so what we're doing is we have a couple of our traditional double systems. We're selling those. And we're taking orders right now still for 1050, 1060, and 1070 cards. Um, I don't know how many how much longer I'm going to be taking orders for them. If I can't secure these other orders that I'm working on, then I'm probably going to stop taking orders for these particular video cards. But it looks like there's some people who have fairly substantial amounts of inventory, some of my vendors, and they don't have, you know, they're legacy computer people, and they only have computer regular gamer type people as customers they don't have anybody who's mining as a customer. They haven't even thought about it. But yet they're sitting on a thousand video cards. So I'm calling them tomorrow. I'm tapping into this. So anyway, we also are doing our special still for $20,500. You get one giga hash of mining installed. Now that's me choosing whatever video cards that I choose and that I want to build. So if that's something you're interested in, it is our least expensive way to get into mining. Um, you do need to spend a lot of money to do it. Anyway, there's a lot more information on our website, Emerald Computers slash ETH. And from there, you can go to about seven, eight different pages. I also have the new Claymore 10 on there um, and a couple of spreadsheets and tutorials and a lot of information. Please subscribe to this channel and I will be producing some good content. I don't, I don't put advertisements. I don't monetize my channel. I just simply sell computers to people who are interested and you know if I can show it to 10,000 people and two people buy that's enough for me I'm happy for that I'm not here to to well I'd like to make a million dollars someday but I'm 
not you're get, not getting rich yet. <laughs> anyway, thanks and have a great day. And nice talking to you. Bye.